What's up, Dank? How you doing, man? Allie, what's going on? Okay. Getting some raid runs in while I have some... It's so weird not having, like, territory battles up right now. I, it just feels like I... I feel like every day I log on and I'm like, I need to do more. And there's nothing to do because there's no territory battle. It's like kind of nice and kind of awful at the same time. Okay, 72. Should probably hit that up. Kayla, what's going on, man? Nothing much. Just, I was kind of saying if the, you know, the group here, I just don't know what else I should be doing right now. Like, I feel like I should have TB going on. I feel like I should be doing something else other than just like, you know, you hit the conquest, which is nice. It's been a very nice conquest. History team, what's going on? See, I, I enjoy, I dang, see, it's funny. I enjoy territory battles. Like I very much enjoy territory battles. It's funny because I know a lot of people don't, but I've always, I've always had a fun time in TB. My Piet not looking so hot. I just need to make it through like a few more phases here. I think I'll be okay. If they could target Han a little bit, that'd be nice. There we go. All right. Good job. Target Han. Yeah, it just, it feels, the game just feels like they're, I feel like I should be doing just so much more. There we go. We'll take that score. See, if I could get a week break, I wish they would have like canceled Conquest. That would have been so much better. <laughs> like, cancel Conquest. Not, not TB. I know a lot of people actually enjoy Conquest. I don't know. I just, I never have really loved Conquest. It just is like, it just doesn't feel right. It just does not feel right. Uh, Kyle, how we doing, man? Good to see you. Oh, yeah. Would that, wouldn't that be awesome? Like, hey, we're going to reward you with the last Conquest box you got. Like, ha, oh, ha, oh, let. Talk about praying for bugs, man. Yeah, I don't know when. I don't know when we're going to get these rewards. I'm getting kind of nervous about it. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. I could really use some Rise of the Empire rewards. Yeah, while I'm at it, I'm gonna make sure I. Where is this at? Uh, yep, you. In case anybody hasn't yet, let's do this. Just in case someone needs that. Okay, do this, 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 this. Yeah, TB would normally end on, like, Sunday afternoon for me. But I don't know. Like, they said at a later date. So, they like, I just wish they would have said, oh, you'll get your rewards at a normal time. Andrew, what's going on, guys? We'll, we'll open the floor up for reviews here. I just want to get, at least let me get my Leia run in here. As long as I don't mess this up. There we go. This is, like, I'm getting really nervous for this next raid because this one was just way too free-to-play friendly. And, like, I felt like the requirements for it were out so soon okay 
basic that you 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 this 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 that that and that APD what's going on man Oh, dude, this was going to be... Sorry, I'm catching up. History team, this was going to be your first Rise of the Empire, and you guys are going to get the reward you had last time. That's brutal. That is definitely brutal. It's just not... It just doesn't... I'm not a... I can definitely tell you that I think, like, they definitely... They need to up the... Oops. They need to up the rewards from, like, whatever they were going to give out, because I think that it's... There's a lot of guilds who are in that boot. Like, it just, it's not, I don't, you know, normally I'm always like, well, you know, they could just give us the rewards, but I think they've got to up it a little bit because this was definitely like a, you know, this was a big deal. I'm not saying it needs to be crazy, but just, just recognize that you're causing a lot of people to lose a lot of rewards here. And I'll tell you that if I don't get my Zepho rewards, I will lose my mind. Because I need Chirotech. I need so much Chirotech. The amount of Chirotech I need is just not fair. I, let's not go too far there, Allie. Max rewards might be a bit much. That might be a bit much. We, <laughs> we're asking for stuff we definitely aren't getting. <laughs> All right, that's all done there. So now we're on to the easy stuff. All right, so we're gonna get into our reviews here. I see Andrew Bradshaw going first. Let's see here, grab that ally code. Again, guys, if you're newer to the channel, the way we do roster reviews here, it's a first come first serve basis with priorities given to channel members and super chats. Otherwise, I just get to them as I get to them. So let's get in here. It's been a little bit. Let's see what we got, Andrew. All right. You're bottlenecked at gear 12 plus. Um, so, bottlenecked at gear 12 plus. Okay. Um, Andrew, are you, are you getting Kylo shards right now? Are we getting Kylo shards now? Just look at like, are you are you earning tickets? Is that what we're doing here? Um. I'm just trying to look and see before I tell you what I, cause like, if you're bottlenecked, I'd just be saving it for, okay, so, oh, wait, wait, hold on, I saw it, okay. So that, I, I mean, all right, so you have your vet smuggler. So you just need it on Palpatine, right? So you just need a Relic 7 Palp. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you're bottlenecked, I'd just say all of your resources need to go to getting Palpatine and getting him Relic 7. And then you can work, like, and then I think you start saving everything for supreme leader kylo ren so the next your next eight gear pieces for gear 12 plus are palpatine and kylo nothing else in between that i don't care if you have extras at some point we're gonna save them because like and i'm not trying to be you know mean when i say this but like you've got this piece on luke like could have that could that have gone on somebody um otherwise you did a good job like i think you've been listening to what i yell at people for that we're not equipping these pieces over here which is the right which is the right thing to do um the only thing i can say to help you increase this would be utilizing shard shop currency where you can and 
making sure that you're spending your raid currency on this kind of stuff. Like you might be able to get away with not buying credits for a little bit if it means that you can use that stuff to purchase some salvage pieces here. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm okay with you equipping the loot piece if it wasn't needed, but you get my idea here that like, I just would be saving everything because you're going to want to get Kylo. You're going to want to have as much of that of those pieces as you can. Because um, the other thing to consider here is that even sometimes like that piece, if I just go back out to my account for a second, um, just to make sure you don't do this, right? Is like, I'd have to go. This is easier for me to get to gear 12s. <laughs> um, but if I go to like my droidica here, so like these pieces might not be needed or like this piece might not be needed by a character I'm working on, but these could be needed on the other side, like over here, right? So just make sure that you're not gonna spend something that you may need for, you know, the, the right side of gear 13 on the left for somebody. Um, Cause those other purple salvage pieces do come in, like do come that way. Um, but otherwise, Andrew, so yeah, if you're bottleneck there, you just, just gotta be saving. There's no other, like, I, I can't, I can't say there's a lot more to do there. Um, one thing I would tell you is after you get Kylo, um, you're in a really good spot to potentially jump ship to like Jedi Knight Luke because of the, the rebel bundle that you got or even into like a Je Jedi Master Luke, like you've got a lot of really good stuff and your Zetas are on like the right characters. Like I love where your Zetas are. Um, so like, I think you're in pretty decent shape, man. So just, yeah, put everything you can into getting those pieces. I don't care if it kills some of your other farms. So yeah, I like it, man. I don't think, I think there's not a lot more you can do to speed that up without spending bonus crystals and or money. And I don't know that we want to be doing that. Um, the only thing I'd consider, the other thing to consider too is make sure you're saving any Chirotech. So I wouldn't be putting any gear on the characters who would potentially need Chirotech between now and Kylo because he needs like 700. Um, it's just an obscene, obscene amount of Chirotech. Um, otherwise, man, I mean, I like, I'm looking at your, like seeing Nihilus as close as he is, Treya Scion done, Jedi Knight Anakin Padme, like you have some really solid bones to build from once we get down to that point. Um, I wouldn't really drop farms for the gear because it like, to get these pieces, you need to use fleet energy and the drop rates there are not fantastic. So you're not looking at really, like it takes a while to get those. Like if you're doing, like here, here'd be a way to say it. Me doing all the farming I'm doing in fleets on a couple of pieces allows me to not have to spend my raid currency on on uh furnaces and the hollow lenses and like sun cuffs for like gear 12 pieces but i'm doing three refreshes every single day all of my energy and fleets goes to that because i don't have characters to farm there a lot of you are not in that situation um i I'd, I'd almost say you're you'd be better trying to just get palpatine done Oh, dude, yeah, don't be, so if you're, don't, f fleet energy, don't worry about Zimbital cards right now. If you have 20 Zimbital cards, you've got enough. I, you're not in a position where I'd be trying to build an inventory of Zimbital cards. Like, if you have 20 of them, just focus on the gear. That's the, I think that's probably your hold up right there. Because you're, like, yeah, the drop rate's horrendous and the conversion rate is not fun. I would tell you you're better off just like Zimital cards are something that as you progress, they get easier, but just get enough to get through your farms. That's why I don't take characters to relic eight. 
you only have two. Um, do you get any Mark III raid currency? Because that's where you spend your Zimital cards. Cut the era magnifiers for right now and buy the Zimital cards. Because Zimital cards are pretty cheap. Like with Mark III, like you can get, yeah, like look at this. Like I could buy a bunch right now. And like I buy a lot of these things with my Mark III. Um, on Electrums, yeah. How many Electrums do you have? How many electrum conductors do you have? Because remember, you do get some electriums. Um, your electrum conductors will build the longer you play because you do get a few of them. 18. Okay, so what I think we're going to do is focus on getting Palpatine to Relic levels. So just don't worry about trying to farm your Zimital cards or anything else. Focus on getting Palpatine there. Um, and then what I think we do, um, then what I think we're gonna do is you're gonna farm the Electrum Conductors that we need. Um, and then we'll farm the Electrum Conduct, and then we'll farm the Zimital cards you need with your Relic resources. Um, I think we just, we got to get Palpatine to relics. We got to get Palpatine to relics. That's going to be the smartest thing to do. Joe, Joe Coria, man. Dude, Joe, it's good to see you. It's good to see you, man. It's always, always a pleasure to have you in chat, my friend. That's for Joe. That is for Joe, man. Just absolutely. Thank you, Joe. Much appreciated. Um, but yeah, Andrew, I think to finish off your review, the biggest thing I think we do is try to get Palp to relics and then work on getting the rest of those things. I think you're trying to do, you're trying to like work on the gear 13 gear and the relic pieces at the same time. I think at your level, you kind of need to separate them. Um, Cause it is, it is a chat, like it is a challenging thing. Um, it's not easy to do that. You know, you've got to kind of, you definitely need to separate them. So yeah, that would be my advice for you, man. Let's separate those. Let's work on one, then the other, and then we'll start, we'll start figuring it out. Um, all right. So geez, Joe, man. Yeah. Rest in peace to the members card for real. Gosh. Yeah. All right. Oh man, Joe, that's for you, Joe. All right, so we've got a lot of new members. Holy moly. All right, so make sure you guys are in the Discord, right? Like most important thing you can do, get in the Discord. Cloaky, oh my God. Oh my God, guys, what are we doing tonight? This is gonna be one of these nights. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're gonna be busy tonight. We're gonna be busy tonight while that is updating. All right, so if you're a new channel member, make sure you please uh what happens when they gift them they start just gifting people like random memberships um so make sure that you guys join the discord link your discord um to like your youtube profile and you'll automatically gain access to the members only section if you get the discord you're not sure what to do tag a mod and we'll find somebody to help you there um yeah wombat wombat doing the exact same thing i am man that's, that's why he's the that's why he's a mob you know you know who you are wombat my man um all right i'm gonna get another refill of soda real quick and then we'll figure out what the next review is oh my gosh
Oh man, that was that tastes good. Jonathan Veers, absolutely my friend. He is king. All right, so let's see who is the next. I know we gotta scroll. God, a lot of stuff to get to, man. You guys are just, this is just insane. All right, so are there, before I start scrolling back up, are there any other channel members, whether new or existing? What do we got, guys? Who wants roster reviews for, we just gotta do some channel members right now. I don't know that we're gonna be getting anybody who, uh, unfortunately, um, you guys let me know. So I'm gonna give it a minute here, let people kind of catch up, and then we'll start, we'll get back into this. Darth Jar Jar, my friend, good to see you in chat. It has been a little bit. Been a wife's wedding season is starting to pick up again. Swift Blade, drop the, drop the, drop the ally code, man. Um, what kind of soda? Uh, the soda. <laughs> Members only section. <laughs> the kind that comes in 16 ounce cans. Oh, it is delicious. Just It just like cools you off on a hot day. And oh, just like when it hits your lips. Just so good. So good. Oh my gosh, I'm getting like the, I, I don't know that you guys can hear it, but like it comes through me like when a like channel member happens or like a subscriber happens, I get this little like notification bell and it's been going off for the past like few minutes. Yes, my wife is a wedding planner. She started her own business couple years ago and she's just so darn successful yeah she's been crushing it there we go all right so we've got swift blade next let's let's get this thing to load so all right we've got all right so you've got this is the right account swift blade right so we got 9.6 million you've got leviathan so we're only in God, cloaky man. Oh, cloaky. You guys are putting in the work for me. You guys are making me work for it. All right, so. Suffer more bells. <laughs> okay, so oh this is okay, this is the account swift blade. Okay, nice. So Alright, we got Jabba, Jedi Master Luke, Kenobi, Kylo. I like I like It is not uh it is not Veers. I do not that that brand that ownership brand has uh done irreparable damage in my opinion. Um Okay, so Swift Blade, let's just take a look at what we've got here. So you have Leia already too. Holy crap, so you have Leia too. Maul is gear 12. Hmm. Ben Solo. Okay, so. All right, yeah, so you've got a couple of things here that we've got to get done. So number one priority is absolutely Leia, right? Leia is number one priority here. Um. So once we get Leia... Cause she, so Leia's here. Once you're done with Leia, we're going completely into getting Reva. I saw her down here. So I want you to go all in for Reva next. Um, hold on one sec. Jonathan, it's all owned by the same company, man. It's all owned by the same company. So I, I put a whole ban on the company. Trust me, I used to have, I used to consume some of the other products there and completely stopped. Uh, but back to Swift Blade here. Keep getting 
Got to make sure I preach the word. So we want to get Leia first, and then I want you to get Reva because she will take your Inquisitors to that complete next level. Like that is a team that you are like you're. I mean, you have really good stuff here. Um, but we need to get Reva. So she's absolutely important. Then I'm looking and you've got Maul, Ben Solo, we've got Malakos, jeez the wheeze. Okay, so I think the next, after Reva, I'd honestly tell you, I wouldn't hate it if you took Maul Imperial Super Commando, Gar Saxon, and arguably even the armor, Alter Relics. I feel like you can do at least Maul, Super Commando, and Gar Saxon are like easy relics for you at this point. Um, because like you've done all the Chirotech for Maul, he's got his three Zetas, so you're in really good shape there. You don't need the Zeta on Gar, you don't need Zetas on Super Commando, so it's just gear at that point. And now you've got a team that is just, I mean, this team has been putting in work for me. Like they put in so much work. You've got a Relic Django, you've got a Relic Candorous. Like, I think that's a, that's a really, really good team to build, especially for where your account is. Um, so then, okay, we have all of them. So then I'm kind of coming back to these unaligned force users. So Leia, Reva, Maul, and then those two guys. I think Ben Solo, you can wait on until you get Ray personally. As much as I love Ben Solo, um, I don't think you're going to need him for a while. The You have Malakos, which is great, but people are going to hate me for this. You're all going to hate me for it, but just, just y'all got to hear me out, right? Y'all got to hear me out. So we're going to get Leia. And then at this point, I think you just hold off on Malakos. Um, I wouldn't necessarily hate if you decide to go for Sith Eternal, as I think he's a good like round out GL. Like you could kind of, you've got some of the wrecks to kind of back into him. But um, I kind of like the Lord Vader shout more. You kind of have a lot of Chirotech invested in the... I mean, Wrecker's already relic These guys are close. Echo, I mean, we're getting there. Um, but you could very easily go after the Lord Vader farm. And then you also just have another kind of use for Maul Mandos. Um, okay, you don't have Dark Trooper Gideon, that's fine. But I feel like Lord Vader isn't that far away. And then you could always go for Empire, like you could go for Sith Eternal then. Cause you have the, um, like you have Leviathan so you think like sith marauder relic is done palpatine vader are done dooku you at least have at relic so that's just relic levels maul is done so from a sith perspective you only need darth sidious and dooku to finish them off um you have 230 shards of gideon yeah honestly i think if you went for someone like uh either sith eternal or lord vader you can't go wrong what i think makes me go more towards lord vader is you don't have a lot of imperial remnants to take advantage of dark trooper moff gideon so you could use dark trooper moff gideon with lord vader until you're ready to take full advantage of your imperial remnant team which can be a while and that's okay like i don't think you need to rush that you know what i mean like i don't want you to rush into building this remnant team when you can use dark trooper moff gideon as a tank in that Lord Vader team, and he's really solid in that team. Um, so I I don't hate a Lord Vader farm here. I wouldn't hate if you went Sith Eternal. You've got uh, Leia already in the bag. 
and you're not close at all to Ray. Right? Like we've got you've got some relics here, but we're still a ways away from her. A lot of gear 12s. This this account has a lot of gear 12s. So, if I was you, I think what I would do um is because I mean there's a lot like there's a lot of really good stuff in here. Like I don't like I I like a lot of the stuff in this account. I think it's got really good bones. What I would tell you is I'd focus on getting some relics on the team, just like getting to relic, you know, three if you can. And then what I would start looking at is like just pick something, whether it's the trench team, the dark trooper Gideon team, you know, a farm like that. After, so again, I think if I circle back to everything I said, get Leia, get Reva, get your Maul, Gar Saxon, Imperial Super Commando. Those five relics. After that, I think you just need to pick something and go. You've got a lot of gear invested in this account. So I don't think that's a, like, it's going to be a problem for you. Don't worry. Honestly, here, I'm going to be, people are not going to like this, but it's the truth. Like, I would not worry about your Wampo mods right now. I, you know, I mean, oh yeah. Okay, maybe we do worry about them. <laughs> okay. I thought that I'd at least see, like, health mods here. This, like, this is not a bad mod for someone else. Like, this is a very, very good mod. Critical chance set, offense, critical chance, potency. Like, that's actually a very solid mod. But I would, not for Wampa. We want health on him. But, like, there's some pretty decent mods on this guy. That one's eh. That one's eh. Um, eh. That's a garbage one. But, like, this one here is really good. And this one here is really good because it's got the offense percent. So he could go with like health mods, but I would not go crazy there because like I'm sure that still beats like general grievous teams, which at your GAC level you're going to be seeing. Like don't think you need to mod Wampa like mine because I'm taking um, like my Wampa goes up against teams that are that he should not be going up against. You should see my, is that GG? I can't, like this stupid heart thing gets in my way and I can't see it. Gas, oh God, I don't know if I want to. All right, we'll check gas and then I think we're, gotta move to the next one here. All right, so I don't hate that. I mean, I like the defense sets. I'm not gonna lie, I, I like, I like the defense sets. It's still a lot of the the health. So I would say I would love these sets if it wasn't for the health set. Like defense is fine on General Skywalker. Like that is a very smart way to mod your General Skywalker. Like I run an offense set and a defense set on my General Skywalker. So defense is like a very solid stat for him because one of the biggest things that counters him is Commander Luke Skywalker. And Commander Luke deals exposed damage, and exposed damage is based on max health. So by modding for defense, you're reducing the damage they're dealing, and there's less max health damage. Like, this is an unbelievably good mod for a tank. 10% defense, 18 speed. Like, that is... I'd, I'd roll off the flat health, the flat offense to try and get, you know, more of one of these, but 10 defense is really good. Um... This one's okay. It doesn't have a great stats, but like I don't hate defense sets on General Skywalker. I, I will never hate on defense sets for him. Um, there's some pretty good mods there overall. So yeah, but I think if you go for those big five things first, Leia, Reva, Maul, Imperial Super Commando, Gar Saxon. Those are the first five things I would do. And then I think you pick a big farm and you go for it because you have all the ships. Like, you've got all the ships. Iden wouldn't be a bad side project to do, but yeah, it's just going to come down to um, picking something and going for it at this point. Because, like, this account, you have a lot to, to work with. You just need to make it happen. So. All right. So, I saw... Um, holy moly. Got a lot to cover here. Scroll down. So, I saw the history teen... 
join the council. Thank you so much, my friend. Saw you doing that during the, uh, during the, uh, when I was doing a uh, swift blade here. Um, so next, Justin Michelotti got gifted a membership Been watching a couple months now and recently hit Kyber one under 10 million currently still in Kyber one at 10.2. That's solid, man. Getting into I'm I, 10 million in Kyber one is a very, very solid achievement. Like that is not easy to do. Um, I've got lies in here. First time tuning into a live stream. Do you have any wise words for a depressed Barca fan? Oh gosh, you're asking the wrong person. Um, I despise Barcelona more than any other club. I think Barcelona have gotten the easiest draws, the corrupt referees. I mean, I'll still never forgive Barcelona for 2009. I'll still laugh at you for 2012. Um, I cannot stand that club. I think that Barcelona deserves everything that they are getting. Like, and you know why? Like, I don't hate Real Madrid. I don't know why I don't hate Real Madrid because they've been way more successful than Barcelona in Europe. But I think it's because Barca always complains about the referees or the, the unfair stuff and all like the dumbest excuses. I don't often see Madrid complain like that, you know? And I'm not saying that I'm like a, like, you know, I, yeah, like I've loved players on Real Madrid. I've loved players of Barcelona, but I feel like Barca just always got the benefit of the doubt, man. I'm sorry, but I can't stand Barca. It's probably like the most hated team for me. I hate Barca more than anybody else. Yeah, for anybody who's newer to the channel, I'm a massive I live in the United States and England hasn't ever beat us in a World Cup. So like it's soccer, um, but I'm a massive soccer fan. So yeah, I love, absolutely love soccer. Watch it as much as I can. I even play a little bit of quote unquote like Sunday league for the equivalent of that in the United States. All right. So we have any other, ch um, Uh, channel members wanting roster reviews here before we open it up to some of the free ones that I've seen kind of flowing through. I want to make sure you guys get your opportunity to get your reviews in. <laughs> What's up, Shitstorm? How we doing, man? You know, Liam, that is such a Jose Mourinho quote, and it is so true. Yeah, absolutely. So, history team, just drop your ally code um, just put like X's in between the numbers or like dashes. I think it's X's. X's work best. Just put X's between them. Uh, for your ally code, just drop it in this chat. Oh, it's just above. Let me see. Did I just miss it? Hmm. Um, hold on, buddy. I'm trying to see if it's up here. Let's see, I'm not seeing it. Can you resend it with X's in the middle of it? That'll be the easiest thing for me. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, my, my dad raised me on track and field, which I still love watching track and field. But yeah, soccer was my second passion. All right, so we've got Kyber 4, 7 point what? 1 million. Okay, so we got. Okay, so we have Kylo, Sith Eternal. All right, so you're working. There's no way you're not working on Leia with Relic 7 CLS and Drogon. Captain Rex, Chupio. Okay, so how close are we to Leia? Because you've got to be, we've got to be pretty darn close to this by now. So we need. 
So we need R2D2 relic 8. We need these two at relic 5. Well, Allie, your dad's a Cowboys fan. Yuck. Ugh. Yikes. You're four wrecks off, so you're off Han, Leia here, R2, and... Huh, who else? Who's the other one we're off on? And Scout Trooper. Okay. All right. No, yeah, that's fine. So I think you're in good shape there. Like, that's... I very much like Leia. Um, what I would tell you, like, immediately after Leia is... So, are you farming Hermit Yoda? Um, like, I would get your Hermit Yoda as soon as possible because you can basically segue right from Leia into Jedi Master Luke. Um... Like, I think you could, I think we can segue right into Jedi Master Luke because you'll be able to almost start um, Jedi Knight Luke right after you're done with Leia. So, like, by the time you're done with Leia, you can basically start Jedi Knight Luke. Go get Jedi Knight Luke. Segue immediately after, um, like, Jedi Knight Luke. And you said Rey is almost there too? Holy crap. Okay. Jeez, the wheeze. So, side note, get Leia, then get Rey, then go for Jedi Knight Luke, then go for Jedi Master Luke. Um, you're way closer to Rey than you are, like, Jedi Master Luke, Jedi Knight Luke, because, like, R2-D2's done, which, like, that is. But you have two Relic 7s here, and you need Rey for Jedi Master Luke as it is. So you figure you need one Relic 7 for Rey. Whereas, um, you'd still need Hermit Yoda, which, again, that's fine for Relics. But you'd also need for JML, um, looking to see here. You have Mon Mothma already, though. That's the thing. So, like, you're pretty, gosh, yeah. Leia, Luke, Ray, Jabba. I don't hate it. I don't hate it, like, because you're close either way. Like, you are close either way. It's not like you're, um, you're only, like, yeah, I, I don't hate that. Because you're close basically any way you go, and you have Jedi Knight Revan, so you can put Revan with your Jedi Master Luke, and you're going to be fine. So, yeah, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Um, and you have Profundity, you have Executor, so, like, yeah, I think... I love that idea, actually. The Leia, Luke, Rey, and then eventually Jabba. Um, so I think that you you do that. Um, I'm just trying to look and see, is there any other obvious things I would do in between? Um, thing is like there's some characters where i'm sitting here like yeah i'd love to tell you to go i think the only one i'm looking at that i'd say make sure you're really farming is zori i'd make sure you go pretty hard after her um she makes that finn team so freaking good um zori is basically a must um zori is basically a must here if you're gonna like i how i always say that like you're you're going for lord vader and you have your pseudo wreck of royal guard and maul and all them zori is a pseudo wreck for ray you can't get ray without zori um and then let's just check off let's see what your fastest non-gl is okay darth revan 344 okay 344 is pretty good Let's go down to F-O-O. -O. Let's see how far we're dropping here. 
274. All right, so we got a big drop off. That's 70 speed between here and here. Um, 329 on Piet. Okay, so you're dropping pretty quickly from one of these points. Okay, so Jedi Knight Revan only 291. What's Hux at? 300 so Hux is really fast so one thing I'd say personally I like first order officer one speed faster than Hux that way you so I start off I poke with supreme leader Kylo Ren I use first order officer to pass a turn to supreme leader Kylo Ren and he gets to swipe and then I use Hux to reduce supreme leader Kylo Ren's cooldowns and he gets to either poke or swipe again um, that's the one thing. So, like, you could even slow Hux down and move some of his mods to maybe Resistance Hero Finn here or somebody else who wants that speed. Um, but that's a really, really good tactic to use there. Um, the only other thing I would potentially say is a Zeta on Dash would go a long way. Like, his Zeta is pretty solid. And the other thing to maybe, the other Zeta I'd maybe consider was L3. Um, L3 has a very solid Zeta. Otherwise, I think you've made a lot of very solid decisions with the account. Um, I think it's, I think this is probably, I'm assuming you're a Lightspeed Bundle purchaser. Only just looking at the array of relics and where they're at. Um... But so I think you like your your path is smart. You're doing the right things. The only other thing to make sure you do with Leia is that R two D two needs to have his second Zeta. We need to have he wants to have both Zetas by the time that you get Leia. So make sure we do that too, because um, that's a big part of Leia's kit is having R two be really really good, right? Like, um, it's not just like a luxury Zeta. That's a very important Zeta. Sith Empire, let's see. Do you have five? You're fine with Sith Empire. I wouldn't worry about anything else right now until you're ready for Leviathan. You have a solid Sith Empire team in Malgus, Revan, Malak, Basti, and Sith Marauder. You don't need any more. Until you're ready for Leviathan. When you get Leviathan, they'll all eventually be relict. But for for right now, I wouldn't do any more. Um I think you just need to focus on the GLs at hand. You've got a lot of... Your accounts like this are in these situations where it's just smarter to just get the Galactic Legends. Like, I know everybody's going to tell you, oh, you want this team, this team, this team, this team. Like, I'm competing in Kyber 1 without bo without Afro, without Tuskins, you know, with much lower Relic levels than most people because I just built everything else along the way and do not r9 sith assassin that is the relic nine sith assassin especially for the people who just use it for fleet arena like you're it's just a massive waste there are very few accounts outside of call and maw that actually need a relic nine sith assassin and i'd even argue my relic seven is a you know mistake drop everything for Padme? No. No. Yeah, no. We're not going to drop everything for Padme. Padme is Padme is a great character, but no. Just no. We're going to go for we're going to go for Galactic Legends that are far superior to Padme. Oh, having a hard time. <laughs> yes, they are. Oh, man. I wanted to make a video about it, but I was like, I'll let somebody else handle it. And of course, Arnold had to handle it, which like, God, of all the people to talk about Territory Wars, he might be the worst one. He, I think he's as bad as me with Territory War.
but yeah history i think that's the i think that's the thing like just focus on the gls at hand right you will do so much better every single gl and major thing that you do in the next little bit that your account is going to blossom i think i think getting padme would be this um it'd be like a little boost right like you notice it right away and then it's just gonna die off in like two or three months whereas you wait a little bit longer you get that gl and it's a slow burn until you get them and then boom ready to go and you'll you'll crush it yeah honestly staying busy is so nice Yeah, it's, it's nice to have accounts like that where you can just kind of stay busy. I'm kind of losing my mind a little bit with mine. All right, we're going to scroll back up here. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anyone. So I saw, let's see. All right, we got that. Okay, so now we're down to, I see, Page Barger. Okay, trying to figure out the next farm. Trying to figure out the next farm. So, trying to figure out the next farm after Leia also been working towards Cal. Okay. All right, this is a pretty solid account and almost 10 million galactic power. We've got, okay, so only a four star executor. All right, so definitely, definitely could use some ships. Definitely could use some ships. My Gungan ready? No, I'm not even close. I, I only wailed, I wailed. I bought the gamble packs for the Gungan Phalanx because I really want to do well in Galactic Challenges. Um, no, we'll, we'll get there eventually. Uh, we're going to go, once they're farmable, I'll be crushing Gungans. So, um, let's see here. So after Leia, yeah, I, so I get hating ships, but you gotta have them. Yeah. You gotta have ships. Ships are just way too important in this game. <laughs> it's like, like I, I have a buddy who hates ships too. I get it. I can res I can almost respect it, but yeah, you need ships. Um, okay, so we need to get Ben Solo. Like you absolutely need to get Ben Solo. Um, you've got Ray, so let's just get Ben. You've got his Zetas on him already. Um, so after Leia, get Ben. Because I, like, that's a, I, it's not even a pseudo requirement. It's a requirement at this point that you need Ben Solo with Rey. Um, so that would be a big thing for me. Is get Ben Solo. Um, so that's like gotta be project number one. Um, then, oh wow, okay, hold on, I love to see that, we love to see that, okay, hold on, yes, you should definitely get Lord Vader, oh my gosh, yes, yeah, I would absolutely go get Lord Vader. Because you have the hardest part done, which is the, the you know, Kyra Tech batch. Wait, I think you could very easily get Lord Vader. Because um, the Kyra Tech batch is the worst part of, like, the Lord Vader farm. Um, let's just see where we're at here. So you do have some relicking to do on your 501st, but... That kind of all comes back because you need clones at Relic 7 anyway for um, the mission on Zepho for when you do get Jedi Knight, Cal Kestis, and Seer at Relics. So, like, I don't hate going for Jet for Lord Vader. It'll give you a 501st. 
it'll give you a um you know like some solid teams there give, you know you've already got the bad batch like i think that would be a really good thing i know people kind of hate on lord vader but i really love lord vader and um you've got like maul as well and royal guard and you have inquisitors so like you've got some really really good um pieces to the lord vader farm it's not like you're missing all the stuff that makes lord vader good so i would do lord vader and then i think i'd go after your profundity like you've got the y-wing you've got all the rebel ships so i'd say you get lord vader and then i think we switch gears um and go after profundity i think that would be you you gotta go where your chirotech is invested in your chirotech's invested in getting something like lord vader that's my advice um let's just see how close you are to saw Okay, so you're not far away from Saw Gerrera at all. So yeah, I mean, if you're that close to, to getting Jedi Knight Cal, the only thing I would say is if you're going to do that, then you have to get Jedi Knight Cal Kestis to Relic levels before you do anything else. Um, So that would be the only consideration there is that like you go put that investment into Saw, then you need to have enough stuff to get jedi knight cal done that's the only caveat there um but yeah ben solo should be a big priority for you ben solo i'd even argue i don't know how many people would agree with this i'd even argue that ben solo could potentially go ahead in the relic list i mean eh, i don't know if i'm willing to say that but I feel like Ben Solo could be priority number one. So I would I would definitely consider that. Relics are going to Embo, the Seer Cal. Yeah, um I'd say I'd say Ben Solo should probably be the first one after everything else right because i think you still said after leia so like i the only thing i would say that you could do before leia is ben otherwise stick to it because you've got like you have ray already so getting ben solo just makes her that much better because like if I saw a Ben without if I saw Ray without Ben right now I'm pulling out my 501 first or just I mean data crons right now maybe change that but like I just pull out 501 first and be done with it like and then I get to use Star Killer somewhere more important. Um, that's just my again that's just my advice. That's not saying that it's the best advice in the world it's just the way i view swiggo right now that i really think we want to hammer um ben solo to get ray so that'd be my advice get ben solo then get on the leia train and then i think we start working towards lord vader and the profundity that'd be what i'd do so page hopefully that answers your questions if you have more and they're kind of like hey do i do this do i do this uh, make sure we join the Discord server and that will help you kind of get those questions answered. That member section is very helpful to a lot of people. All right, we got to move to, let's see, where are we at? All right, there's pages. Okay, next we got Nicholas uh, Puplo. Puplo. Weeplo, I'm not going to pronounce that well at all. Private Peter Pan. All 
right, let's see what we got here. <laughs> Justin, <laughs> Justin feels attacked. So let's see if we've got, so Private Peter Pan here. Um, all right, Nick, so we've got Leviathan and Lord Vader pre-Relic 7 is really good here. Finishing Inquisitors, then Jedi Master Kenobi will have Bane after Conquest. Man, yeah. Okay, so very dark side heavy. Finishing Inquisitors. Okay, so how close are we to Inks? Okay, so you're uh, two Relic 7s away. That's fine. All right, and then going after Jedi Master Kenobi. So, yeah, JMK makes perfect sense for you at this point. Like, that's that's a solid, solid decision. You've got a lot of gear invested in your Galactic Republic. You've got Commander Tano. You've got Snips. So we can we can take full advantage of Kenobi. Um, so I like that. I like I like that move a lot. Um, you'll also have Bane after Conquest. That's great. Gear Bane up. He's he's a very Bane is somebody that you delay basically anything for. Um, all right. So after JMK, I feel like you just need to go for like Jedi Master Luke or Leia. Probably Jedi Master Luke because you have Jedi Knight Luke already. So like you could go get Jedi Master Luke without too much additional work. And that kind of leads you towards profundity as well. So like I think that could help a lot where, you know, JML, an older farm. Not a crazy amount of relic requirements. You have Jedi Knight Luke, which is the hardest part of that. Um, but I think that kind of helps jumpstart you and then that would get you into getting the profundity because you have like executor you've got leviathan the one thing you're missing being the profundity which is actually a very big deal right now because having profundity gives me the ability to counter either executor or leviathan or basically anything um so that's kind of the, the thought process that i think you could do there um just trying to wrap those things up because like pre seven million you have three gls which is really really good um yeah but so like the nice thing with the resistance like i know you said oh you have zero progress the one thing to keep in mind with jtr like she's not very hard to get at all but also um if i just flip over to the cantina real quick for the vet smugglers where are they at no, they're in here somewhere. Like the veteran smugglers share a node now. So you get to do a two for one there where you're gonna get to build Vet Han, you're gonna get to build Vet Chewy, and that just makes everything so, so much easier. Um, so very, very much think like JTR is a much easier proposition for you because the two of them are there together. So you're able to kind of kill two birds with one stone in the cantina which is much nicer than a lot of other farms that you'll do or have done in the past um then i would say because yeah the, there's not much resistance to go from from there like finn is easy to get i think he's even in the cantina too he's a joke to get BB-8 is very easy to get because, like, first order, not hard to build for that. Yeah, like, you could build first order characters, and I think a Relic 7 Sith Trooper could carry you. Um, Otherwise, I'm just looking down here to see... I think that kind of gives you a really good starting point. Um, you also have a lot done for Leia. 
when I see the Gear 12 Scout Trooper, when I see Captain Rex also having gear on him, like Gear 11. So you've put some you put some major Kyra tech there, too. Um, the only other thing I'm thinking here is, yeah, like I I think what I've said is where I'd stick my ground on for you. Um, yeah, I don't think I would quite go for Leia yet. I feel like Jedi Master Luke to Profundity is going to give you a better chance than maybe you could look at somebody like Leia. Um, because you're a long way off from Rey, right? We're a long way off here. And first order, it's just a gear fest for you. Starring these characters is very easy. But I think JML and Profundity are kind of like right there. And I think Leia after them with Jedi Master Kenobi Inquisitors being the first things you build. Obviously delaying anything for Bane and or Reva when you get them because they're basically Galactic Legend tier in my mind. Um, so that's just kind of my thought process there. So hopefully that gives you some direction. I think for 6 million though, having what you do is really, really solid that I think a lot of accounts will struggle. I also very much love that you have a six star negotiator and a five star malevolence. Like that's a big brain play. Cause that's exactly what I recommend that you go seven star this puppy first before you worry about seven, seven starring this one. Um, so yeah, love to see it. All right. So we're going to keep moving along here. Let's see. Scroll back up. I do apologize if it looks like I'm closing my eyes. It's just because I'm trying to read without my reading glasses that I may or may not wear. Um, I don't wear them when I stream, but when I work, unfortunately, I'm wearing reading glasses because 30 year olds have to wear them apparently. All right, so we've got Samuel J. McFrost. I mean, I was so close, Samuel. Samuel J. McFrost. Let's see what we got here. Man, another all right, 5.7 million executor in Kyber 3. We've got Ray with Datacrons and Ben Solo. Just finishing off Leia Farm, then going for either JML or Profundity, but don't really have the supporting Jedi. All right, so we're looking at supporting Jedi here. So, oof. All right, hold on. So Sith Eternal has all of his Zetas. So Kylo. Dude, yeah, like the, it's, you know, it's the worst. It sounds so bad, but it's the truth, man. When I go to like a restaurant and they've got like tiny menus and it's dark. Oh, um, all right, so here's just something to consider here for uh, McFrost. Like, I know that not all the Zetas are like, you know, oh, they're not flashy, but, <coughs> excuse me, they are very important for Ray and Kylo to have all of them because Ray's basic really does play a big role in some of the off-meta counters of kind of dealing a lot more damage, right? It does, it does actually help. Um, Darth Bane, this GP is kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. Like, I think a lot of people are not going to appreciate that you have Darth Bane at this galactic power. Ben Solo is very solid to have. Um, just, you need an Omicron on Ben Solo. I think you definitely need an Omicron on, at least the Force die out on Ben Solo. Um, because... Like, he does make Ray better without it, but, like, the the Omicron just completely changes the way that you have to beat that team. Um, so how close are we to Leia on this account? So we need Rolo and Captain Han. All right, that's not... 
That's not awful. Where is Lobot? Did I miss him? Okay, there's Lobot. I mean, Bane is not a bad character to have. Bane's not. I think the only one I kind of regret for Bane... I don't even think I regret any of the Omicrons I have on Bane, to be honest. I feel like all of his are solid. Even, like, the one where, like, you know, the three... Um, like, the additional 3% charge is kind of useless because i don't use him with sith eternal but the five siphon is big right like this one's really really good um this one against leia isn't as good but against other teams this is very solid especially like the the decreased cooldowns by increased cooldowns by two is just broken excuse me um but yeah so we're not all right so we're not hardly far from leia but yeah we should definitely get ben's omicron when we can because that's just like a i don't know i when i faced ray i feel like i faced a ray team where it didn't have it before and i remember being like dude what the heck is going on like it just felt it felt way too easy um Now, ships-wise, so one other relic that I would consider here is Beskar Mermando. Like with the with Executor, you kind of want that. Yeah. So with both Beskar Mermando and Cad Bane, I'd consider relics on them. I know they're not required for the ship, but it's especially with the light speed bundle for the first order coming out where a lot of players are going to have good first order teams. Being able to have those higher relics on Cad Bane and Beskar Mermando are going to make any first order counter to that executor fleet significantly harder. Um, obviously, you do kind of want the tie echelon there, but not having them at relic levels means that your a lower star tie echelon can survive some of that opening salvo and that's not ideal at all um that's a solid mod for bane i don't it's got speed it's got the protection percent i'd love if it rolled different like if the flat stats became speed and protection but you have the right idea um I actually kind of i'm not gonna lie i love defense percent i don't know on bane if i love it as much but that's still a very good mod for you know tanks um this one's pretty solid again i think he likes the health percent he likes protection percent so you're getting something there uh crit damage i'd probably ditch to be honest i'd just mod him for all health percent to be fair that's just that's what i did um all right so this is the first one where i'd say i have the biggest issue with i'm very different wombat will yell at me for it other people will yell at me for it i don't take a speed mod beyond like the i won't slice speed mods ever i just i won't slice a mod that can't give me additional speed to be fair i'm just not at the point yet where i feel i get enough benefit out of that it's not bad stats, but like the flat offense and the critical chance are not that great. And this one's okay. A lot of flat stats there. I'd prefer that it rolled more defense, but it's got good speed. Like I'm pretty sure this Bane, he's faster than mine is, but um, I've got a significant amount of more health. But it's not bad mods. Like for especially for the level that you're going to be like not trying to judge or you know be high and mighty more so just being honest that for the level that you're going to be using bane at your mods are great you know so maybe i should have led with that that for six million gp people are not going to know how to beat that you know or like they're not going to set something that your bane can't beat that's maybe a better way um 
But yeah, I, the, the Omicron missing on Ben Solo. Definitely bothersome. Um, oh. No relics on our king also hurts. It just hurts the soul. It hurts the soul. Um, but also just looking here, like Zori would be another really good character you could take to relics. Just because it's kind of one of these situations where when you get the resistance and you have a low gear Zori, not that she still isn't good at low gear, but like if somebody knows what they're doing and knows how to counter that team, a low gear Zori does not pose a big enough threat. Um, she just becomes way too easy to kill and then the entire team just kind of falls apart at that point. Um, but otherwise, I don't... Yeah, that's the thing. I think at, I think at your GP, if you build Ben Swallow, I don't think many people are going to know how to beat that team. Yeah, the, the only thing I'll say, like, don't go too... I don't want to say that you don't go crazy with Datacrons because you've got, like, really good Datacrons, but, like, the one problem with Datacrons is that you're never going to get the resources back that you put into them. You know, at... Like, the resources that guys at the top end of the game pour into Datacrons is astronomical, and they do not get it back. So... I'm not saying that you shouldn't try to get some decent datacrons from conquest and things, but don't worry about trying to keep up with somebody's datacrons that's competing in, you know, Kyber one or whatever, like, cause that's just not realistic. Uh, but you've got, I mean, having this many relic nine or level nine datacrons is really solid, especially Bane, Holdo, Ray, Finn, Sidious. Like you've got really, really good ones there. Um, so I do like that. I'm just looking to see if you have anything else that I'm like, eh, maybe we do this, maybe we do that. Um, otherwise, man, I think you're in, I think you're in a very, excuse me, a very, very good shape right now. Um, yeah, just missing a few little things here and there that are gonna make this account significantly better. Even Kyber One, like, my datacrons do fine there comes a point where skill enters the where skill enters the picture um yeah but you should be able to get c3po pretty easily like that should not be that hard to do because like you're gonna have three relic ewoks they'll just carry the battle i feel like you could carry this battle now but You'll be able to carry the battle once you get them all to seven star. But I, I'd even say that you could do like Chirpa, Wicket, Nisa, Tebow, and Scout. You could skip these two and probably still get through because of how easy Nisa makes that event. Um, otherwise, man, I think this account looks really good. Maybe just think about starting to build out some other ships here. Um, and I'd say show some love to the Malevolence at some point. If you have the Separatist ships to do that, the Malevolence is just such a such a cheap fleet to build. So, and it's very good for it. So I think that's the... If you got anything else, Samuel, let me know. Otherwise, I think we're in good shape there. I'm going to take a quick uh, bio break here and I'll be right back, guys.
Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what a bio break is. All right, let's see who's next up here. We've got, let's keep going. Let's see. Hold on. Where am I at? Okay, there I was. All right. Let's keep going down. And I think the next channel member is Astro DB. All right, Astro, let's see what we got cooking here, man. All right, so you've got 4 million galactic power. We've got Executor. Oh, stop drop rates is, yeah, it's criminal behavior. It's worse than Genonite Aiken ship. So I yeah so okay so Astro um yeah so I definitely think we need to get your best Garmer Mando and Xanad and Cad Bane up to snuff uh, especially get the Xanadu blood to seven star that needs to be a big priority there um so from this point you kind of have your your thought process to go for um so the eternal isn't bad the other way that you could pivot to is kind of set the empire aside for a little bit um and potentially think about going for like a jedi knight luke you the reason i say that you're, I mean, so I, you guys know I'm not a big fan of this kind of stuff where it's like, you know, missing this, missing this, missing this. Um, but like, I would not invest any more in, in Geonosians. And that hurts to say, because like, you're a finisher piece away from spy and brood, but like mine are gear 12 and do just fine. And by just fine, I mean, they ride my bench and that's about all they do. Um, but like your CLS, Wampa, Chewbacca, Han, um, Chupio, even like you've got really good rebels there. Um, and I think you could make a very solid run at someone like a Jedi Master Luke, a Jedi Knight Luke. And it be a very quote unquote positive thing for this account. The only thing I'm not convinced with for Sith Eternal personally is I think with the emergence of the light speed bundles and the amount of players who are gonna get Ray and gonna get Kylo, Sith Eternal definitely gonna lose value because he can't really beat kylo straight up so that's kind of why i'm thinking you build some of these other gls is i just think uh Sith eternal unfortunately is going to struggle with some of those much more challenging teams for him um excuse me so i really like the jedi i really like the jedi knight luke shout um I feel like that's just such a solid character and like it's the way it's the way that my farming guide goes right that you go for executor and then you go for um like jedi knight luke and they do fit pretty nicely together because you did get the millennium falcon already um you know you got um 
Hold on, sorry, I lost my place in the thing here. I'm trying to find it again. Um, like, you've got bounty hunters, so I think like we're in good shape. Um, so like if you went to the turtle, I'm not gonna hate you for it. I just don't know that it's the absolute best thing to do. Because I just think there's too much that... Listen, I do not hate on Sith Eternal's requirements as I think he has some of the strongest requirements in the game. But Sith Eternal versus Supreme Leader Kylo Ren is just a horrible idea. Like, without your armor and your Thrawn and all your pre-taunts, it just doesn't happen. Easy mode is not the word I would use. Easy mode is Sith Eternal versus General Skywalker, where you don't even need ultimate. Um, so yeah, the only other thing I'd say, Astro, is just encourage you to be patient because of the way your gear is invested. Like, you've got a lot of gear 12s in here between Hera, Veer, or like, you've got gear 12s kind of invested all over the place and not that they're on characters that are necessarily bad but it's just kind of all over you know what i mean that like you have a cls team at gear 12 and then you have a geonosian team and then like kylo ren on mass and then padme uh Django. like you just have these kind of random characters i, I want to say complete random because some of them are a pattern but I think we tone back on the gear 12s a little bit and gain some focus here to build our next thing. And whether that's Jedi Knight Luke or Sith Eternal, I'm going to kind of leave that up to whatever you feel like doing. You're definitely a lot closer to Sith Eternal because you did Executor where you have the TIE Bomber done, Darth Vader done, Palpatine's almost done, Piet's done, Grand Admiral Thrawn's done, and you know a couple of your Empire characters are ready gear 12. Um... But, yeah, I mean, I don't... The Gear 12s will eventually help you. Like, don't think that they were complete mistakes. Like, they'll eventually help you. Just, I think right now, I'd kind of hold off on doing anything else like them. And just make that tough decision to leave CLS and, you know, these characters at all this plus one. Or all this minus one. Um, while you work on whatever your next project is. And that whether that's Sith Eternal... Jedi Knight Luke to Jedi Master Luke, you know, I think you're going to be in good shape either way. I personally hate on Sith Eternal a bit. I call myself out for it, you know, try to recognize it. It is what it is. Yeah, I mean, oh, dude, if you looked at my account, you'd see plenty of mistakes. I've made more mistakes than I'd care to think about. All right, so next is RS Tainted. RS Tainted, we still around, buddy? Let's see what we got cooking. What's cooking in the kitchen? All right, so you got five million. We've got Executor. Okay, so you have Jedi. Okay, so you have Jedi Knight Luke, Ray, Kylo. All right, so oh. so you're Jedi Knight Luke. Where are we at with Jedi? So Jedi Knight Luke, Jedi Knight Revan, Old Ben, Hermit Yoda. All right, all right. Hold on, we're cooking. We're cooking up something here. Let's see. What we got. We bought the light speed bundle. So, um. I think you gotta go for Jedi Master Luke Tainted. 
feel like Jedi Master Luke has to be the play here. Like there's, you've got way too much progress done for him to kind of ignore him at this point. I feel like JML has to be that play. Nah, see, Negotiator, this is the thing, guys. Like, Negotiator's nice, but Negotiator doesn't need the love when a malevolent, like, this is way smarter. Maybe not going quite to 7-star, I would have done a little bit more, but, like, this fleet here will be full Relic Negotiator fleets. Like, this is where, this to me is a very good decision, that... The Malevolence with lower gear invested is a far better fleet than any Galactic Republic fleet is with the same gear. Like, if, if you have um, all that stuff, like, it's just, it's the Malevolence is so underrated for that. Um, yes, he is key for Zepho, which, how many guilds are actually getting to Zepho? <laughs> how many guilds are getting there come on shitstorm <laughs> we're a little bit ahead of ourselves uh you were thinking leia so here's the one thing with leia so you need captain drogan which is a lot of kyra tech um let's see what else so r2d2 you're gonna need love either way lobot you're gonna need love either way your Captain Han, Rebel Officer Leia are fine. Captain Rex, we've done a lot of Kyra Tech for. So here's where I'd say JML gets a little bit smarter than Leia. So number one, Scout Trooper has nothing done with him. Nisa has nothing done with her. And then Drogon sitting at... Like you, so you still have so much Kyra Tech to invest to get Leia. Um, the only one I see you're missing from Jedi Master Luke is Mon Mothma, which again, she's not a fun farm, but she'll probably get her around the same time that you'd get somebody like Drogon, or maybe not Drogon, but like Scout Trooper and Nisa because of where they're at. Um, so we do need Mon Mothma, but oh, excuse me. if you work towards that through some of these other relics, I think you'd be fine. Um, but yeah, I feel like that, whether it, whether it's Jedi Master Luke or whether it's Leia, again, I truly, I don't want to say I don't care, but it's not like a make or break situation where like farming one or the other is a huge, you know, you're going to make a huge error and cost yourself months and months and months. Um, I think my only argument is that from a Kyra Tech perspective, it's going to be far easier to get Jedi Master Luke because of all the investment you've made up to the point you're at now. Um, Zori is definitely one that I would consider taking her gear up a little bit oops and then oh excuse me guys sorry um and then the only other thing i would say is i'd probably halt any other gear that isn't going to a gl um maybe outside of zori but I think you've got to just kind of halt any other gear that isn't going towards like your next Galactic Legend. Because you're 5 million GP with two GLs, some good stuff. But I think that if you're dumping too many resources outside of that, we could be in trouble. Like I wouldn't put any more into this team until you get Malak. Just my personal opinion. I'd kind of wait until you get a little bit farther before you start throwing stuff on Malak, because it, it's gonna take you a long time to get him to seven star. Not even from like, a, oh, you need a lot of currency, like unless you've saved all your currency, um, but just like waiting around for a five drop and a 10 drop and a 15, like, it just, it was not, it was not pleasant. I do think it's easier now, but it still takes a lot of resources. So I focus on getting him to seven star 
and try and move the gear that you're going to put on these guys to somewhere else. Um, also very much respect the, the Relic 3 on Darth Revan. That's, that's a big one. So I think that's solid. But again, that big decision I think comes down to how you want to look at your Rebels, whether we want to just go the JML route, which is probably the easier path, but far more walking it comparative to Leia. Um, and just make sure that you're not using the... Excuse me. Make sure when you're thinking about Leia that you're not considering the raid. Because when that raid goes away, like, she's just going downhill. So, like when that raid goes away, Leia loses a lot of value that she has to the game right now. So, that would be the one, maybe, thing to think about there is, like, if you're looking at which one of those two to do, make sure you're taking the raid out of consideration. <sighs> it is hitting my... I wouldn't even want to say it's my bedtime because there's definitely nights I go to sleep later than this. Whoops. Click here. Come back out here. All right, let's see who's next. Who do we got? All right, we have Justin's. This is his son's account. All right, let's see what we got, Just Justin. Hmm. All right, Justin. So this is one of the stupid accounts. So we've got, oh God, yeah, I, I remember this account. This is just so insane. You know what's crazy? Is, oh, excuse me. This account has a, a seven star, like gear one Emperor Palpatine, but a relic one star killer. Like, I feel bad for whoever has to face this in Grand Arena. Cause it's just gonna be miserable, like a pure misery for them. Um. Inquisitors, again, getting Reva ready. I think this account, this, guys, this is one of his alts. This is one of his alts. Like, he, Justin does this for fun. He he knows what he's doing. Like, do not, like, it's just, like, I feel bad for whatever. Working on getting Grand, uh, Grand Inquisitor and Reva then work on SK squad, then to tray a squad. Yeah, like this account's just gonna be silly stupid. Just like silly stupid. I mean like Cal Castus, Cal Ripken Jr. is already seven star. Like this is just gonna be an absurd account. Now, like, oh, excuse me, for those of you wondering, um, he did, I believe this account, Justin, correct if I'm wrong, but I think this one did buy the Starkiller Lightspeed bundle. I'm pretty sure that's the case here. But yeah, this is one of the stupid accounts. And I think this account is in a guild that is like earning Reva shards as well. So it's not like he just built Inquisitors for fun. Like this account is going to get Reva and just destroy people. Um, yeah, there's not much more to show here because there's literally nothing else to this account except the just obscene amount of relics already. This will be a GL counter account. Makes sense. So you're just going to go after Galactic Legends the whole time. I respect it. That's what Zareth's one account was. It was his, you know, big game hunting account. Oh. Excuse me. 
All right, we're gonna scroll back up. All right, we've got Mithrod, Naruadu. Don't even try and get me to pronounce that, guys. Yeah. <sighs> All right, so we've got 9.7. We've got a Leviathan. No, okay, there is a profundity. It's four star, smart. Okay. GLs, wow. So, only Supreme Leader Kylo Ren is the, it's the only dark side GL, wow. That is crazy. Like, so how... I was gonna say, are you like working? Oh my gosh, wow. Jeez Louise, okay. Perfect, I can just call you Thrawn. If you guys think I remember that from that book, you're wrong. That was the best pronunciation. There's no way. Working on Jabba now. Okay. All right. I like working on Jabba here. You definitely need some dark side characters. Uh, all right. Interesting taking Kersant into Relic 7 right away. I respect it. It's just a little bit more interesting. All right, um, so I think you're pretty solid here. Like, I think we have all the bounty hunters you need, so probably just some cleanup stuff on the Hot Cartel side and the Jawa side and the stupid Anakin Slaughtered You side. Um, I'm not convinced on this Omicron here. Not convinced on the Omicron there. Uh, simply because it's just not enough gear. Like one AOE could take them all out. But I do like, I do like going for Jabba. Uh, Darth Bane, Cal Kestis, Reva, all very solid things here. Um... I'm just looking to see if there's anything else here just between like um the only other thing i could think of here is like trying to back into sith eternal at some point is not an awful idea that like you're extremely close to sith eternal at some point not an awful idea to just finish off the requirements so you have a GL. You've done a lot of the work for him already. So, it, I again, I'm not saying that I think Sith Eternal is like super, super good. But he is a vital part of my Grand Arena offense. But I would say that this is the time that you maybe back into those requirements, kind of take advantage of all the work that you've put into this account so far and potentially go get to the turtle.
Yeah, Timothy Zahn is freaking gifted. Just going, sorry guys, just going based off the comments here. Timothy Zahn, man, he's done some amazing things. Him and Eric Nyland. Yeah, that's the thing. I, 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 that's a very good point, Angel, that if they do end up nerfing Bane, Sith Eternal becomes a requirement. That is actually like a very, very true statement. That like that's that is definitely something to consider that if Bane is really on the chopping block, Sith Eternal kind of becomes that you're gonna need him. I don't know how or whether that comes to fruition. Um But yeah, like Sith Eternal's kind of that he kind of exists in this place where he's not quite a galactic legend, but he's better than almost every other non-galactic legend. So you just kind of always use him as this like, you know fix all type of thing like oh i need to get through you know malakos or i need to get through this team or that team you just pull out some eternal link you move on with life um keep your profundity low star as long as you can the longer you keep that thing at low stars the better it's going to save you in the long run um let's just look here real quick okay so you do have all the bad batch at seven star but not enough gear on them to warrant potentially thinking about, you know, Lord Vader. Because you could use a dark side GL here. Let's just be perfectly honest. Um, yeah, I, I've seen him. I have seen him get one shot by Fulcrum. It has sent me over the edge at times. To say the least. It has definitely sent me over the edge at times. To put that plainly. Why Profundity Low Star? Because it still beats so many other ships with low stars. That it is one of the best low star capital ships in the game. So, in my eyes, it's kind of one of those that if you want to catch those of us um, in the later stages of the game who have done all this crazy investing, the smartest thing that you can do is do more with less. So, keep your Profundity lower keep your executor lower hell you could even potentially keep your leviathan lower because if it's not the meta anymore you don't need it at that max level to climb in fleet arena to climb in those places it's just there to help you in gac um kids are sleeping and you're making all this noise just next time you have the kids asleep i'm just gonna start banging stuff everywhere man all the hard work I did to get those kids to sleep. Uh, how close is he? So he's decently close. So one, two, three, done. Um, Thrawn himself is one relic level away from done. So there's four. And then you think gear 12, gear 12, close, close, close. Like anybody that doesn't require Kyra tech in my opinion is close. I'm just gonna say that. Like, if you don't require Chirotech, you're a joke. You saying hi? What are you doing? And then, like, Marauder's almost done. And then Dooku Sidious. I mean, they have to go high relic levels, but they don't require Chirotech. And that's the thing for an account of this size, high relic levels aren't really an issue. Like, if you told me the next GL takes all relic sevens, I don't care. I'm more looking at them from how much Chirotech do I have to spend. So I think, like, Sith Eternal is a big option for a lot of players. Sleeping on the couch tonight? No, I run this house. I make the rules. No, you do not. <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, like, I think for an account of this size, getting Sith Eternal makes a lot of sense because you're not kind of gated in with Chirotech there. It's those Chirotech intensive farms that really eat up a lot of your resources, in my opinion. Because, like, it's not, I'm, I'm sorry, but it's not hard to get Relic 7s. Like, this this account's got a Relic 8 Darth Bane, Relic 8 Starkiller, Relic 8 Reva, Relic 9s here, like, GLs with extra Relic levels. They're not hurt, like, we're not hurting for Relics on this account. So it's really not this massive issue for us.
Um, so that would be my thought there. Just trying to go through that <laughs> as you all laugh at my demise tonight. Um, let's just see if there's, is there any obvious relics we're missing? Like outside of like GL farms, are there any like obvious relics? The only one potentially would be like Cal Ripken Jr. Um, yeah, maybe Cal Ripken Jr. would be a good relic. Because like you've got Ray, you've got Ben Solo and JTR, like Cal Ripken Jr. is a really solid character with Ray. Like, I I got more holds with Cal, Ben, and Ray than I did like the rest of my 3v3 defense combined. Um So like Cal's definitely a big one. And obviously, eventually getting Seer to relics will help your guild get to Zepho, which is a big selling point. And the other side of that is if you ever do look to join a guild, being able to say, hey, I complete Zepho is like a big step up. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I still think that the, the, the job of farm should be priority. But I would like, I would tell you no more extra relic levels until you're done. And then you can go back and level up the squad because you just need to get to Java. We just need to start like earning tickets. So that's my advice there, Thrawn. I know I kind of go off on tangents. That's kind of what happens the longer these go on, man. All right, we're going to see how far up. I need to scroll here. See where we're at. Come on. Where are we at? Where am I farther? Am I farther down than this? Come on. I lost my, I normally have like my, I like keep it highlighted. So that way I remember where I go back to. Probably just can't see it too blind. Let's see where we're at. Come on now. Can I find it? If not, we're just going back down to where I see it. All right, we're gonna scroll down here too. I think I saw um, ADP. Hold on, I will get to yours in a sec here. I got Angel David up above who had asked, um, actually I think ADP had asked before Angel. So ADP, what do you got here? Relic nine and an Omicron. Let me see, drop the code and then we'll get to Angel David here. I can't keep track of who's who. Oh, there's a lot of choices. Oh boy. Making me pick an R9 is probably a bad idea because I'll just tell you to save it. But <laughs> when I've got like enough resources for three of them. So what do you think in ADP? What's the, you got your ally code and I can take a look. Let's see what we got. All right. So 
Every GL that matters is Relic 9. Okay. So it's one of these accounts. Bane is there. So General Skywalker, not a horrible shout. They, you would not know what to do. Dark Trooper Gideon, I don't hate taking there. Um, my wife is asking if you guys want her to do roster reviews one night. I cannot... I do not have any guarantees on whether or not the informa information provided will be good. As uh, she abhors me playing this game. Although it did make it into our wedding vows. So, like, and, you know, helps offset the mortgage. So she's happy. Um, ADP, what about Royal Guard? What about Royal Guard? Like, why? Like, like, let's just think about this for a second here. So, you've got Maul at Relic 9. You've got Lord Vader at Relic 9. Your Thrawn is Relic 7, so he's got extra Relic levels. Like, why are we not thinking Relic 9 on Royal Guard? Even just a Relic 8 on him. I feel like royal guard is i'd argue he's a better relic nine than piet um i think that would be your smartest one like i think like gideon is fine but i think once his data cron goes away i don't know that it's gonna be quite as good um but I think getting Royal Guard would be a big... Like, he's one I'm looking at for myself as a Relicate, as many of you who watch the channel would know. But I, I just can't... I can't get... Like, I'm looking at it, and honestly, like, it just goes Royal Guard. I just think that makes way more sense. Um, not that you don't have other solid tanks they just i i feel like i feel like if i saw your like this is the truth right if i saw your lord vader at relic nine and then i see royal guard at relic seven um i just kind i don't want to say i'd laugh but it's far less of a scare to me so yeah i don't think i think if you um i think if you relic eight royal guard even if you don't take him the full way to relic nine because i get relic nine's like a stupid big investment but relic eight on royal guard i think it will suit you and that's assuming that the other side of the equation here is just think about this that like do you maybe want to save those royal do you want to save those relic eights for gungans um like gungans could be a really good relegate option especially because i think that the raid will have that similar scoring ideology to what the speeder bike raid was um so yeah you could or you could also just take royal guard there and then you know save the relic nine mats but i think the gungans would be another solid shout where relic eight is going to be very important to them is my gut assumption and then finally before you like pull a trigger just think too that we have that Mandalore bonus zone coming. So do you feel confident in spending a Relic 8? Um, do, you have, do you feel confident spending a Relic 8, Relic 9 resource when you could potentially need that to get into Mandalore? So that's just one of, like, you've got Bo-Katan there. Um, but do you think that you'd need that on Paz, Grogu, and other people, you know, Bo Best Armor Mando? to compete in that zone so that's the only other thing i'd consider for you is potentially saving that relic gate with the thought that down the line you could need it for gungans or those mandalorians um from an omicron perspective omicron perspective uh gosh i really wish i had the
Because you're pretty, sp like, you're pretty split. I, I mean, I personally would save it. If you're, like, Royal Guard is the only one in your roster right now that I'd be like, eh, maybe it's worth it. But I think with all this stuff coming down the pipeline, it might be smarter to save it until we know at least what the Mandalore bonus zone is. I think for me, that's the big thing that's looming over the head is like we all know gungans are coming but if that if that mandalore bonus zone requires five relic eights like what do you you know in your down one what are you gonna do that's i, I i'm very much with relic eight and i mean a lot of stuff i hoard but especially with relic eight materials i don't like to spend them until i know that i'm not going to need them um mainly because I'm not willing to spend the money on this game to recoup those resources if I do end up needing them sooner. So I'd rather hang on to it. Um, but Omicron wise, I, I, I'm assuming your guild cares about territory war. So maybe like boss Nass. Have you thought about that one? Like I wouldn't hate doing like the boss Nass territory war Omicron. I feel like that's a, I feel like that's a very good Omicron from what i from what I've been able to read of it, it looks really good. And like the Gungans are already amazing. So I think that equipping that now could potentially help your guild because people won't know how to beat Gungans for a while. Yeah, R9s are just, it, it is astronomical, the cost of an R9. But yeah, I wouldn't hate you putting that on like boss nas if your guild cares about territory wars um if they don't care if you or i should say if you care about territory war if you don't care about territory war i mean i saw darth talon didn't have one so like not a horrible option there um Otherwise, I think you have most of them, don't you? I'm trying to look and see. Uh... Okay, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it might not hurt holding on to the Omicron just to see what comes next. Because I don't see any that are, like, blaringly obvious in your account. Like, the two on bow, two here, like... I'm okay with that. I think those are good decisions. I mean, you could throw one on like somebody. The other thing is too th that I was thinking about is, you know, they, we don't really have a territory battle Omicron yet. We have like Genetic Calcastus where it kind of helps, but like I was wondering if Paz Vizsla, um, if Paz Vizsla's Omicron is going to be super important for that um mission for mandalore that like you'd need that omicron um only other one maybe is that the tire throw for star killer is kind of underrated especially against ray like once ray comes back down to earth this omicron i feel like does not get enough love that's a big one that i think people underestimate how good it really is I definitely like that Omicron a lot. I think that the people who use that Omicron and use it the right way are the ones who struggle the least with Rey because she just doesn't she doesn't pose as much of a threat. I'm not saying she still can't be dangerous, but it's a lot easier to manage with the the Star Killer tire throw. Um Yeah, otherwise dude, like you've got so many of the characters who have their Omicrons equipped. I guess the only other one could be like Talon. Talon, depending how you use her. Or even, I mean, yeah, I guess at your level, you're probably at mine where like Princess Leia doesn't make sense. But yeah, I like Star Killers. 
I kind I really do like star killers. I think if I was gonna tell you to equip one, it's this one. I feel like not enough people finish their star killer, and then everybody complains when they can't beat Ray or something. Like he's just so good with that. So that's my Omicron one for you. So yeah, if you don't want to save your Relic Eight Royal Guard and you want to spend the Omicron Star Killer, that'd be my advice. All right, let's. I think we had Angel David up here, and then I think unless there's any other channel members looking for one, I might call it a night after this one. Let's see what we got, Angel. I just, it's so, this sounds so crazy, guys. Um, I am not used to seeing so many accounts with Darth Bane, like with Conquest characters below like 8, 9, 10 million galactic power. So seeing like a 6 million GP account with a, with a Relic 8 Darth Bane is just crazy. Um, I love it. Like Darth Bane is a very solid character to use there. So I don't hate it at all. Um, from an Omicron perspective, I think you're okay. You're kind of using him kind of as the, you know, solo character. Um, all right. So... We've got Jabba and Sith Eternal, and I think I saw Executor over here. So, I think Angel. Use all the resources, man. Hey, respect, respect. The Jose Mourinho, respect, respect. Uh, the ham, yeah. Um, but so just looking, Angel, we thinking Jedi Master Luke on this. I'm trying to remember what the account was thinking, but I feel like Jedi Jedi Master Luke would be a very solid shout here. JML, there we go. Um, and then you said Reva. Ugh, yeah, okay. That's a rough one. And then Leviathan. So, yeah, I don't hate... I don't hate the Inquisitor shout. Um, you're, like, close to Leviathan, and at the same time, you aren't. Because, like, you need Relic 9s, which is absurd. So, you basically need four Relic 8s. Um, like, it's a lot of resources to get Leviathan. Um, but the Kyra text for Inquisitors is also kind of crazy. Because you need... It's, like, 375 blue signal data to just get Reva ready because you need 75 for Grand Inquisitor himself. And then I guess, I guess technically, yeah, because then you need what? Four, you need 75 for Grand Inquisitor himself. So there's 150. And then you need four more of them to get to five to seven. So there's 240. So there's 290 blue signal data before you even touch Reva. So yeah, if I mean relics are a problem, Kyrotex are. I mean, look, if that's the case, you know, I, if that's the case, I your guild will hate me for this, but I'd argue if like you're that starved on Kyrotex, go for Leviathan and bank your Kyrotex because you're looking at like a hundred, two, three, four. So 400 Kyrotech there, right? Um, 
500 with Sith Trooper. And then call it 600, 1,000. Probably looking at about a third of the amount of Kyrotech for the Leviathan as you are Inquisitors. So kind of pick your poison there. The only other thing I'd consider is just think about how long it will take you to obtain the ship shards that you need because that is a much longer process. So like Ty Dagger, you look close to done. Sith Fighter still needs a lot of work. Interceptor's done, good. Um, Angel, what's your progress on Fury class? That's going to be the real kicker here. What's your progress on Fury class? Um... Hmm. All right, so you're at 224. Uh, yeah. I mean... So you, do you have to wait? Is Proving Grounds for Fury class out yet? Um... So, I like, the point, I guess the other side of the equation here is that if you can get all of these ships, get Fury Class, finish off their Relics and Kyratech, like, if you can do that and really not delay your Inquisitor farm, you're probably okay. Um, if your deadline to get Grand Inquisitor is July, then I'm going to tell you completely skip Leviathan. Um... Yeah, like, I think if, if your deadline is that close, just, you've got to buck up. Um, so, yeah, I think if your drop dead date is July, you've got to do this. There's just no other, yeah. I don't think there's a lot of other options for you, to be honest. Um, which sucks because like it's so much Kyrotech, but I think with your GP, you should be able to get enough Kyrotech as long as everything's going to your Inquisitors. It, it sounds like a lot, but ugh. it really isn't that much, to be perfectly honest. You think in that time frame, he's going to get, say, 10% of those Kyrotechs for free from logging in every day. Um, you figure he's going to get, say, you know, I don't know. Yeah, like you're getting you're getting the scythe too, which is really nice. But I think you're gonna get a lot more Kyrotech than you realize between logging in daily, anything you get from the Galactic Challenges, uh, assault battles obviously add up. But um, your territory wars, those are really good, you know, sources of like total Kyrotech. So I, I think you'll be in really good shape. Um, so I don't think July is astronomical to say that you won't be able to get these guys done. And if you like 
miss it, then like say to your guild that Fat Phil told you it was okay. Because obviously my weight, you know, carries so much in this game. Yeah, I definitely would say what Justin's saying. One Inquisitor at a time. Like, yeah, you'll be, I think you'll be pretty surprised how quickly you're able to get the Kyra text that you need. As long as you just do, definitely start with Second Sister since she's the pilot and then just, you know, work on down the line. Ugh. Um, but I think that is the last. I think that's the last channel member review that I saw in chat. Are there any other channel members asking for a review? All right, if there are no other channel members, then I think I am probably gonna call it here, guys. I am yawning and eyes are getting heavy. Wife's home, gonna make me sleep on the couch, so I best get my bed ready. Um, no, you know, I apologize we didn't get to much free reviews. Unfortunately, that's what happens sometimes when you get a bunch of those gifted memberships and stuff. We got some good roster reviews in, so. Um, you know, again, guys, if you're ever interested, um, that link is always in the channel description. Make sure that you guys uh, join the Discord. Even if you're not a channel member, there's a lot of great stuff going on in there. And then channel members, you obviously have the section of the Discord that you get to like directly converse with me, which is always a great feature to have. So um, again, guys, very much appreciate all of you. You know, Cloaky, Joe Coria, you guys are just beyond generous. You know, if you got a channel membership gifted to you tonight, Make sure you're thanking those guys, you know, in chat. I know Cloaky is in the Discord, so you can always tag him to say thank you. I'm sure he won't mind. Actually, I'm going to, like, force you to do that. You got to, like, tag him in the Discord to say thank you. Um, just to blow up his, you know, little red button notifications. Uh, thank you guys again for watching. Again, I love you all. May the Force be with you. I'll see you in the next video.